How are we doing folks? Went to do a simple two minute welding job yesterday and uh, set the welder up, got everything ready, put my Leopard or Leopard auto darkening helmet on, struck the arc and uh, very bright because the auto darkening bit didn't work on it uh, because the battery had gone flat inside. So this one has a, if you can catch that, I don't know. A replaceable battery in there anyway um, and it's I thought well yeah nip to Asda they sell them button cells but it's quite an unusual one it's a fairly chunky button cell it's a CR 2430 which is quite big and quite chunky so I thought well, I might be able to get a CR 2032 in which are available anywhere even fudging it around, I just couldn't get it to uh, to switch on. So, <laughs> somebody gave me this a few years ago, Parkside, uh, from, uh, is it Lidl or Aldi or somewhere? And uh, it did work, I've, I've probably had this about five or seven years. And um, I come to try it, and again the auto darkening's not working. And this doesn't have a replaceable battery. The battery's obviously on the board inside. So the sun was still out, so I'll put it in the sun for a bit, see if the little um, solar panel would uh, charge the battery up, but no. So, get out a jail free card. Um, I'm just going to turn you down a bit here so we can see what's going on on the bench. So I've got a, are these PP3s? One of these little 9 volt. Um, radio batteries or whatever. So, just get the meter. I mean, this uh, this one's still got a bit of life in it because I, I did this yesterday to get out of jail free. So we're on DC, aren't we? It's um, a three volt DC battery. So positive is the big shiny side and we've got should be able to pick that up I think shouldn't you one point nine one three volts so we know that the small pin on these or the small connector is the positive and we know that the big shiny bit on the back of these is positive so you can actually put this positive onto there and the negative onto there by doing that. And I'm just going to hold it here. I'm just going to give it, I'll give it 30 seconds starting now. And obviously because you're holding it, you can tell if it's getting warm. <laughs> I don't think it will, but if it does obviously stop because uh, these little lithium batteries are not designed to be recharged. But you can actually, by flashing some voltage in there, upset the chemicals again inside, you know, for the chemical reaction, and they will start to, uh, to come alive again. So probably about, I'm going to give it now five seconds. I'm going to say that's 30 seconds. So it's not heated it up or anything, it's still cold. So, let's have a look. So 2.9, so I mean that will work, that will run that helmet now. But if I left it on a bit longer it'd probably go a little bit higher. So I've also got a, a CR2032. The standard little button battery so let's see what's in this one so there's half a volt in that 0.5 of a volt so we'll do the same with this thing so we know that the positive is the shiny side and the positive is the little terminal so we'll just give that 30 seconds and again I've got my thumb on it I mean obviously I don't think it would ever happen, but uh, 
obviously it's something you shouldn't be doing is uh, trying to charge a uh, a little button cell, lithium button cell because they're not designed for it. I think the standard charging little charging batteries that you find in laptops um, and probably in that park side will be an LIR whatever size it is so they will recover, they will charge so saying another five seconds but still cold, no heat have a look so there we are now we've got 2.2 so a bit you know from half a volt to 2.2 I mean obviously it's going to decay but just to get you out of trouble like I managed to do that welding job yesterday just by charging that battery up so there's one possibility obviously not the right thing to do but to get you out of jail free but what I'm going to do is with this park side I'm going to take this panel out and open it up because there will be um, a rechargeable in there won't there which is obviously now died over the years so let's just open this thing up and um, see if it can come apart and let's see if we can do something because what I've got is I've got I had a few of these for an alarm job I think uh, a few years ago but these hold the CR2032s if you put two in you get six volts if you put one in the wrong way up and bend the tab it, you can get the three volts but the good thing about these is it's actually got a little on and off switch so when you're not using the welding helmet for some time you can actually turn turn it off to try and save the battery or take the battery out but if I can get that somehow in there then uh, I'll have a replaceable battery backup uh, welding auto dining welding helmet so let's just open that up be back in a sec and see if we can do anything with it okay not designed to come apart <laughs> but um, obviously the screen comes out dead easy it's just a couple of screws and just you don't do the nut off the adjuster on the side of the helmet and then obviously uh, without cutting your fingers <laughs> I've just gone round and round and round and eventually with the Stanley knife and a little screwdriver I've managed to open it so I cut the battery out first because it's got like steel tangs on the battery just to get it out of the way then I've actually unsoldered the, the two steel tabs so it wasn't a, a little LIR like computer battery or whatever little 3 volt battery so the plan is I mean you can buy these off eBay these uh, these are six volt ones but what I've done with this one is I've this takes two of these little LR batteries the um, what were these these were CR 2032s which are the most common things as to sell them and everywhere but if you bend, because it's going to connect the batteries in series to give 6 volts, I only want 3. So the inner tabs bend them in so they touch each other when you close the lid. That's those two. And then if you put the battery in, it says positive that way. But if you put the battery in upside down, um, then it should give me... 3 volts the right way. So I'll just switch it on. Let's get the meters. Come on, baby. 
on. Let's get these the right way around, obviously, to prove we've got the polarity right. Have another look, something's not right in there. Oh, it's uh, an old battery. <laughs> Try it now. Well, it won't go on hertz, will it? But it might be going on DC volts. There we go. 3.2 volts and the red is positive and the black is negative. So you can, just by bending the little tabs in these, um, get them to 3 volts with one battery. And obviously we've got our on and off switch now. I'm just going to turn it off while I'm messing. So I've pre-drilled the lid. Because I need to we'll get this through there and what I plan to do is either with a hot glue gun or uh, maybe just super glue or something I'm just going to glue that onto there so I'll just switch you off while I solder these on and then we'll see if it works back in a second so we're all soldered up so, did I forget to put the wires through first before I soldered it? Yes, I did. So I had to unsolder it and go again, but wires, small hole drilled, wires through. Obviously, can it, the right way around, and I'll just check it. So the meters are on. On voltage DC this time, not hertz. And... Uh, Positive and negative. 3.2 volts. I'll just, I'm just wondering if there's any capacitors on there. If I turn it off, does it go off or does it stay on? Could also put it in sunlight, see if voltage comes back the other way, couldn't I? Right way around. So when it's off, it's off. And when it's on, you get the 3 volts. So let, and I, I know that it's working uh, because when I turn it on here, the screen flashes dark for that millisecond because unfortunately on this Parkside one, uh, there is no um, there is no test button, which is nice to have. But obviously, when you strike up, you've still got the. Um, ultraviolet and infrared protection because the, there is still a filter in the screen but obviously you need to be able to adjust the lightness or the darkness to see the well dependent on how high you've got the amperage switched up so I'm gonna put this back together and glue that on and let's see what it looks like so we'll be back in a second so all done all back together and tested and uh, it works really well so uh, one Parkside early model with unchangeable batteries now converted to uh, LR CR 2032's plus you can turn the battery off for long periods of time if you're leaving it so yeah, quite pleased with that and obviously yeah, handy if you ever want to charge up a button cell in case of emergency like I needed to yesterday just by using a small PP3 battery and just putting a bit of a charge back in there. So yeah, happy days and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.